Okay, I'm out in the shed just messing around here, and I heard a little rattling. When I look at it, and it's a black snake. I don't think it's venomous, but I'm not willing to. It's coming your way, hon. I'm yeah. not willing to. Uh, here it comes. Not willing to grab onto it. Let's see. Let's get him out of here. Where's he at? It's under the bucket. Yeah, we need to get him out. Okay, um, want me to move the tuli? Yeah, right, I'll be right back. There he is. He wants out as much as we want him out. I just don't know what he is. I wish I was better at identifying this, but it's black. I don't think that's venomous, but I don't know for sure. He's coiling up a little bit. I can't see his eyes to tell whether or not that's a venomous snake. You guys would know, I bet. He's pretty big. I know most of you people are saying, that. Ah, just kill him. I feel bad about that. Snakes are really good for the environment, rodent control. I don't want to just kill them. But I do have to get them out of here, so I'm going to get a bucket and throw them in. I'm just sitting out on the back deck listening to Brad and Krista, Big Family Homestead. And I see this jet way up high in the atmosphere chemtrailing us. And look, spray stopped there. Oh, wait a second. It continued back down through there. So they actually stopped their sprayer somewhere in between. Don't tell me this is a contrail, guys. This is a chemtrail. Not exactly sure why they're doing it so late in the day, but I guess they do it at night, too. So uh, I wish I could zoom in on that plane and figure out what it was doing this to us. But... Um, it's just disgusting what they're doing. Geoengineering at its not so finest, guys. Look at all the little chicks. 350, they're all female, and they have Rhode Islands, Buff, Orpingtons, and Barred Reds. Is that how you say it? Barred Reds? Barred Reds? Rocks. Wait, why does it say rocks? It's barred rock, so that's the type of oh, chicken. Okay, there you go. All right, gang. Just uh, I was gonna spend the night, but it's raining, and I just decided not to. I got other things I can't be doing, but I want to show you. It's one of the things I got done today. Was I planted a new blueberry bush? Because one of the two that I planted uh, down by the garden died, and uh, there's a whole story behind that. But I guess I won't get into it. It's not that interesting but nice sized bush and it was given to me by the nursery so that was kind of neat. We got a little visitor here. I'm actually surprised we don't see more geese over here with the pond but one that showed up say hi. I guess we got a whole flock that decided to come in and start eating. And they're trek. No, are they trekking north or south? I mean, it's August, so they're probably trekking south. I'm guessing. I guess they're trying to tell us falls on the way, which is kind of creepy because it's 90 something down here. I know they make a mess with their poo, but they're just awesome to watch. And they are, it's a girl's first time out of the coop, at least here. They didn't want to come out, so we got one bigger than the other. They didn't want to come out on their own, so actually uh, one of them I pulled out and put him on the ground, put her on the ground. The other one I opened up the door and she kind of went to the door and jumped out. Pretty birds, pretty birds. Until they're stressed and nervous, but we just wanted them to see how they reacted bringing them out of the coop. And I'm going to be leaving here in a little bit. I was invited to kind of a meeting of the minds, so I'm going to do a group of folks that are of a like mind, and I'm excited to go out and meet some new people. So we'll catch you all later. Well, the geese have been hanging out here all day long. 
They've been eating up on the grass. They actually all flew away a little while ago. And turkey vultures came in and were getting some water out of the pond. And then I thought they were gone, but they came back. Now they're hanging out on the pond again. Beautiful. We have seven of them back there. I just love the nature. That's really cool. Well, it's about 6.45 on Sunday morning. I hear a bunch of geese in the background. And we got our flock still here. Came out this morning and walked the dogs. And they were out in the grass eating. And now they're in the pond a little swimming and drinking. I think it's pretty neat. We still got the seven. So none of them were lost. That's how I know we got the same flock out there. It's the same number anyway. <laughs> we got feathers out there on the water. I wonder how long they're going to stay if it's just a 24 hour layover before they take back off or what? But I like having them here. They're welcome anytime. And speaking of birds, let's see how our chickens are doing. You know, a lot of you guys said uh, you like the name Lucy and Ethel. And I like that name too. Lucy, I'm home. But you got some explaining to do. That was my best Ricky Ricardo impersonation. Good morning, girls. Good morning. And also, I saw some of your comments on my son's channel, his live stream last night, about putting the water and the food up. And good ideas. i got to figure out how I'm going to do that. And then we got some watering nipples that we're going to uh, rig something up. I just got this watering dish. You know, for now, because it's going to be another week or so before we get those in the mail. And uh, but yeah, we have pine shavings in there already, so y'all, we're right on, and we'll figure that out. Let's see what the girls are doing. Well, good morning, ladies. Lucy and Ethel. I think those are good names. Do you like your names? Yeah, they're not talking. They're not talking. Do I have enough pine shavings in there? Too many? Not enough? Let me know. And how often do you change it? I guess when it gets dirty, right? And that's subjective. We'll figure it out. With your help, of course. 